Bladder function is not something you normally need to think about as it happens outside of your conscious control. However, when things go wrong with your bladder, they can really impact your quality of life. In this video, you're going to learn about how a healthy bladder functions. Normal bladder function involves four stages. The first is known as the bladder filling stage. This is where the bladder begins to fill. The second stage is known as first sensation. It's at this stage that your bladder sends you the first little signal that it's filling. As the bladder is filling, the sensations come in waves. And this is where the guarding reflex comes into play. As the pressure in your bladder increases, the guarding reflex gradually increases the strength of contraction of your external urethral sphincter, which is the little muscle that keeps the pee pipe closed. At the same time, this reflex also sends a signal to the bladder muscle to keep it relaxed. And this reflexive signaling helps you to maintain your continence. The third stage is normal desire to void. At this stage, the waves of sensation come much more frequently and they can even be constant. You will know that your bladder is full when you reach this stage. So you will typically go to the bathroom to empty. A fully continent person can hold their pee at this stage until a toilet is found. The final stage is bladder emptying. This is where you sit on the toilet and relax your pelvic floor to pee. When you relax, your bladder muscle contracts to empty the urine with no need for you to push or to force the pee to come out. There is always a little bit of urine left when you empty your bladder and this is known as the post void residual. With normal bladder function, this cycle gets repeated consistently throughout the day and night. If things are functioning normally, you won't even have to think about this process. You'll wake up in the morning and take your time getting to the bathroom. You'll go to the bathroom during the day whenever you feel the need to go. You'll be able to sit through meetings, movies and road trips while being able to hold on to your pee and you won't experience unexpected leaks. You'll be able to sleep through the night without needing to get up, although it can also be normal to wake once in the night, but not more. If this describes your bladder function, then you have a normally functioning bladder. But you may be wondering how much should you pee when you actually go. Well, in this next video, I'm going to explain what normal bladder volume is according to the International Continent Society. And I'll share some surprising statistics about bladder volumes. So watch this video next if you're interested in learning more or jump over to theflowerempowered.com where you can find lots of information on urinary function. And you can also check out the links in the description for more resources to help you deal with your pelvic floor dysfunction function.